I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Mana Collect. A review copy of this game was provided free of charge by Fruit Bat Factory, the publisher. Um, <laughs> this game is like competitive minesweeper, except with hex cells instead of um, squares. So there's a story. Basically, mana is affecting people, and we're people collect mana and I don't know. Story seems like it's kind of just there. I'm gonna show it to you I guess but it doesn't really seem very important. Um, there's a bunch of different modes aside from the story mode if you don't care about the story. Um, story mode seems like a good place to start though because it sort of it starts off very mild and lets you uh, it ramps you up in terms of complexity of the grids and um, opponents and the general number of mines on the board. One interesting thing that is, if you're familiar with Minesweeper, um, it'll take you a little bit to just get used to new, like what uh, each pattern means because uh, it's slightly different from Minesweeper just because the there's six adjacent things instead of four. So the shapes of the numbers are a little different. All right, I'm supposed to not skip the story, right? So my impression of the difficulty is I'm one of those people that like, I know the rules of Minesweeper and I know kind of what I'm doing, but I can't really do the hard mode stuff, like the harder difficulties or like the super large grids. Um, and I find normal is just about right. I've actually, oops, um, actually have some degree of trouble in the later normal fights. Hopefully not too much trouble in what I show off here. But, um, so the difficulty modes seem about right. Dang it. And since it's competitive, there's stuff you can do to screw with your opponents. Like, uh, I just delayed her now. So she's gonna be really slow for a second. Everyone has a different skill. There's like... I forget how many opponents there are. I want to say nine? In the story, you're forced into whatever, you know, it changes per chapter, but you're forced into which person you're playing as. You can pick whoever you want to be in any of the other modes. Like, there's, for other modes, dang it, stop that. There is this one mode where you're just, um, it's not competitive, but you just clear increasingly complex layers of mines and you gotta go you know as fast as you can so it's single player there are some single player modes and then there's a tournament mode where you just play against every single opponent in succession and then there's free battle where you just you know pick your difficulty pick your opponent do what you want and there's of course story mode which we're playing here i would recommend starting with story mode just because you know it seems pretty well paced to start you off and nothing else there's also a tutorial but uh not too complicated. Oh, right. I completely forgot. Yes. Um, I kind of forget that often. So in competitive battles, what you're doing is trying to fill up that meter at the top there. Uh, I'll have to show you it to you next battle. You're collecting mana so you can damage your opponent, and that's you're not just you know pointlessly doing stuff. There's also a score. I don't really pay attention to the score. Um, the kind of interesting but also kind of annoying thing the normal the story mode does is it gives you like this practice stage with no enemies to um, learn the map for each area. It's sort of useful because there's different patterns that can emerge on certain maps. Like these ones are pretty simple, but there's some with a little bit more complexity to them. Uh, this one... There. And so yeah, generally the goal of the game is to get enough mana to reduce the life meter of your enemy down there, or up there actually. Like at the top there you can see... No? Sorry, I'm bad. Oh, I'm stupid. So yeah, I'll show you now here. You pissed off creepy looking maid here who's like 18 billion feet tall. So blah blah blah, I'm gonna beat you up. Fancy garden here for some reason. I guess it doesn't show you that. It, te it teaches you, or like, the versus map is different from the just screwing around map. Um. <coughs> the enemy can miss. I'm not sure if that's like a factor, a function of difficulty. Hey! 
How dare you? Oops. Actually didn't mean to do that. Alright, so let's... Damn it. Alright. Let's get some mana here. You kind of want to not be where your opponent is, because then you're stepping on each other's feet. And... You might not get the mana you were wanting to get. But yeah, at the meter, at the meter at the top, let's talk about that. So as you can see now, whenever I place a mine, or mark a mine, it'll show, it'll, damn it. Um, more of their bar turns transparent. Once all of their bar is transparent, I can do a fatal attack, and then I win. We're not quite there yet. And you can spend your mana to defend from an attack instead if you want to. So like, if she, um, it's not gonna happen in this fight, but, uh, like if I wanted to counter that attack, I could spend all of my mana to do that. But right now I'm close enough to winning, damn it, that uh, it would just be a waste of my mana. So I just want to keep my mana because in just a little bit here, I will be able to one hit KO her. I think I need just a teeny bit more. I should do it. Oh, didn't matter. Yeah, the power offset is the thing where they spend all of their mana to counterattack, but she didn't have enough anyway. So yeah, the aside from just competitive Minesweeper, you also have to manage like your mana count is how things, you know, how you deal damage, and you also have that the ability where you, that slowly recharges that you know. For me, it's just this boring delay that thing that makes their movement slower. Um, other people have more interesting things, like, um, they'll block off part of the field, or, oops. And if you mess up, it, um, detonates the mines that are properly placed. So, and it removes that if part of the field, too, which is kind of a nice touch. So you don't, you know, bumble around like an idiot. Oh, and this meter here? Let me just let that run out. When the meter runs out, your mines detonate. Um, generally, if you're running around and placing mines, it's not a big deal. But <laughs> if your opponent interrupts you, or you can't find a mine, then that's where you're and you're going to end up in danger of the uh, thing running out. Oh, crap. I hate when this happens. Oh, there we are. That full collect is when you grab all of the mines. It's not really going to happen very often in multiplayer, or against the CPU even. It's a bird lady. Hi, bird lady. When I first saw her, I thought her hair was wings. The the artist has like a thing with hair. Like you saw that girl with the, the first girl with the uh, the blonde hair and the like massive swirls. Like they really like their hair. I don't know what the deal is with that. This lady's from the Tentacle Institute or Pentacle Institute. One of the two. So yeah, we're gonna beat her up. She took our cat. So, she's a jerk. So yeah, we're gonna beat her up because she took our cat. That's the entire story of the game. Okay, maybe it's not the entire story of the game. It's the important part of the story. Also, that sound effect is um, in a lot of Platinate Dispos Dispositive games and it drives me mad. And sometimes the AI just kind of pauses on a block, and I'm never sure if they've placed the block or not. And I'm like, should I do that? Should I take that? Ah, I hate her ability. Her ability switches your place, switches place, like she switches place with you, and that just drives me nuts. Like, you just gotta know that it's gonna happen. Like, you can watch her mana gauge fill up, or not mana, but like, her special ability gauge, and uh, know that it's coming. I'm not entirely sure how the game picks which blocks disappear, because some of them do have numbers on them still, some of the disappeared blocks, so I don't quite get that. Damn it. There we are. Oh! I keep forgetting to attack. Oh, yeah, see, she barely saved herself there. Also, if they have enough mana, they will actually completely prevent your attack. Or, I mean, you can pre completely prevent their attack if you have enough mana, too. So, 
So let's just get this finished. Bye bye. So the game gets fairly significantly harder. The I guess I'll show you chaos mode. Like I can't even play hard mode. I have a little bit of trouble later on in normal. But uh Uh, yeah, let's just be tap. There's scores. I don't tend to care about scores. Like, I love shoot 'em ups and I still don't even care about scores in those. Let's see, let's show off a free battle. Oh yeah, and there's difficulty of mines as well as difficulty of CPU. Like, so let's go against a stupid CPU, but on like crazy hard, oops, <coughs> mine level, which will just cause me to have an aneurysm. Yeah, and here's all the different abilities we have with like go faster. And one annoyance is the game only uses the deep or the analog stick. Um, you can't use the D-pad. Like in as far as movement goes, that's fine because you want to use the analog stick. But um, it's kind of annoying for the menus. But uh, whatever. Why? Why are you silent? So yeah, things are way, way more complicated here. Um, hmm. Ugh. Hmm. Yeah, like, I'm not going to get any mines, because I'm not good enough for, like, super hard mode. Oh! Instant KO. Okay, good. <laughs> But I'm terrible at the super hard mode, so if you need the game to be harder, the game can get pretty damn hard puzzle-wise. Oh, you can also play it, um, you can play versus, like, local co-op, or not local co-op, local versus if you want. I, forget, I think that's in... Yeah, it's the free battle. See, I thought this was, was pretty cool. Oops, no, I don't want to. No, I want to get out. Okay, there we go. Yeah. And you can play with controller, that's what I'm doing. Um... Yeah, this is Mana Collect, and I thought it was a pretty cool take on uh, Minesweeper. Um, I'm not sure I've seen any other takes on Minesweeper other than Minesweeper itself, but I thought it was pretty cool to make it like a versus game.